everyone. Happy Sunday. It has been months and Sundays since I've been able to come on with you guys, upload a video. I have been doing my live on Facebook, so I hadn't really had enough time to come on and upload a video. But nevertheless, I am here today. I pray that it allows me to continue the video before it cuts off on me. Um, I first of all want to say um, my book is still available. There is Beauty in My Brokenness is the story of me and my husband and um, our love story from our beginning until our ending, until death did us part. Um, I'm so blessed by this. Um, that God has graced me to do this, um, but I'm thankful. And again, it's called, There is Beauty in My Brokenness, can be ordered from me or either through Amazon. Also, I did a 31-day journal, God's Love for the Grieving Widow. Again, it's for widows. Um, it's more geared to widows, letting widows know how important we are to God and how, um, because we can sometimes feel like we're not important to him at all um, when we lose our spouses. And so, um, and our loved ones, we can feel like that either way. But um, it's a 31-day journal. God's love for the grieving widow. And it can be ordered through Amazon or either through me. Oops, I'm not working where this hair is. But um, I wanted to come on. I've been coming on my live videos um, just explaining to people about getting your affairs in order, you guys. So recently I lost my husband two years ago two and a half years ago, and I had to go to through a probate. And so what I, the type of probate that I went through was a spousal petition probate. And it's the same as probate, but it's a little less cost costly. But um, I had to go through it, you guys. It took me a year and a half to actually get my name on the home. And so I'm such an advocate now for having people get their affairs together, such as getting your revocable living trust, getting your power of attorney, and I would say that like immediately, if you can. Um, some people feel like they don't have anything because they don't have any children, they don't have property, but it's imperative that you get you a power of attorney, you guys, uh, because we never know when we can become incapacitated. And so a lot of people have their beneficiaries, but the beneficiaries only take place when you die. So you need a power of attorney because if you become incapacitated, that person that you name as your power of attorney, whoever you trust to do it, can take care of your affairs while you are incapacitated until God heals your body. And so I've said this before, I've, I have a cousin that became incapacitated for about a year and her sister was her power of attorney. So she was able to keep her rent up she was able to keep her car note up. She was able to keep her bills up. But if you do not have a power of attorney and you only have a beneficiary, this is for people that just have a bank account and they have and they stay in an apartment. You want somebody to be able to speak on your behalf and you don't want the state to take action on their behalf. So it's important that you get your power of attorney. If you don't know what that is, how to do it, which way to go, you can call me or I'll either, um, or you can go to Law Depot and you can, um, Law Depot are real lawyers that draft up um, 
everything. There are real lawyers that draft up your trust, that draft up your um, direct derivative uh, health. They do everything, right? And so stop thinking because you don't have what you think you should have to have these things in place. You still need to have these things done so that you can um, have the proper things in place. Okay, and then if you own a home, it's important that you get your power of attorney. I mean, I'm sorry, not your power of attorney. It's important that you have a power of attorney, but you want to have your revocable living trust. And they're expensive, but they do have different trust makers that you can do them online. But you want to make sure, you want to educate yourself. You want to go and see even with a lawyer, you want to educate yourself on what type of lawyer to get. Um, the lawyer that is going to be true and that's going to give you the right information so that you would have your trust be done correctly. Because you can have a trust done correctly, um, think that it's correctly, and end up in probate anyway. So you want to make sure that you have somebody that you trust um, I, I know a lawyer that's in California, Edmund Yang, and, um, he's pretty good, very good. And, um, he has taught, um, how to do your trust for free. Um, he has educated what to look for, what not to look for. If you can afford a lawyer, if you can't afford a lawyer, and you're doing it yourself, you have to make sure that you educate yourself first before you go and just draft up something that um, you believe in that's a trust and then your loved ones end up in probate. So um, how I ended up here was um, going through probate, as I said before, myself. And um, it's difficult enough when you're in grief and you're hurting um, from loss. And then um, to some widows that I know have lost everything. Um, also, um, I say this now because my husband's death was unexpectedly that you never know when you can look at someone. You never know when your spouse will walk out on you. You never know when you are faced with a divorce. You never know when your spouse can drop on you. And so it's so important, you guys, that we don't just overshadow and overlook this thing because it's real. One thing about it is you're going to die. You're going to leave here. And so if you were to just take a moment to think about if you were to leave here today, even though we're not going to care, we're, not, we're going to be in the arms of God if you've accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior. But would you want your loved ones to be mourning you and dealing with all this other stuff? And so I'm determined to get my trust and every, my affairs in order because I don't want my kids to have to go through losing me and all of this other stuff too. And so, and I believe that God, because I don't particularly care about telling my business, and I'm sure my husband probably didn't, won't appreciate it either, <laughs> but this is an assignment that God has put me on. And so I'm going to go ahead and run with it because I've been trying to back out of it. And every time I try to back out of it, someone at church or someone calls me and say, hey, Crystal, I got my trust. I'm telling you, it, there is at least a dozen people now that have gotten their trust just from me speaking out, me telling what I've went through, and they don't want to go through that. And so it is so important, you guys, especially if there are some of you 
that have married into and your husband or your wife already had a home, you really need to make sure that you have these things in order because a lot of times, even when, when our loved ones pass away, they don't think to say who their beneficiary is. So we tend to keep our spouses. But my aunt Lily told me, she said, you know what? You need to change this, your beneficiary. And I thank God that she told me that because if she didn't tell me that, how would I have known to take my husband off as the beneficiary? You're not thinking at the time that, you know, you're in a fog and a lot of things you you don't think to say, oh, well, let me take them off. So for instance, my sister-in-law still had my brother on and my uh, sister-in-law passed away two years after my brother did and so my nieces them they were not able to get that money because the um, the beneficiary was my brother and he was already deceased and so those of you that have already lost your loved ones and you know that they were the one that was your beneficiary make sure you change that because it can take five, six months before you are even able to get the funds from that policy because the person that you have down is deceased. And so um, that's all I think I want to say. I don't know if there's anything else, but uh, I pray that something bless everyone that... Um, comes on this page and I ask God to send the people that need to hear this word on today to my page God's love for the grieving widow please like and share and subscribe love you guys until next time bye bye